Hello and welcome to MillionaireDropout.tv. My name's Dominic Frisby and today I'm talking to the man behind Millionaire Dropout TV. He is Vince Stancioni. Vince is a very interesting guy. He's a, a serial entrepreneur, a financial trader, and he's an author as well. He's just written a new book called the Millionaire Dropout, and uh, for the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to be talking about it. So, Vince, why don't we start? Why don't you just give us a, a couple of minutes of background about yourself so that uh, people can get to know who you are okay. and how you came to be? Great to be here, Dominic. Okay, well, I basically come from an Italian immigrant family that came to the UK. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the most sort of academic of students, and um, pr pretty much I've started my first business when I was 11 years old, which was selling software, computer games for the ZX Spectrum on cassettes at that time. And my idea of going to school was, school was great because I could sell stuff to the other kids and sell stuff to teachers. Captive market. So, captive market. So my background really is business from a very young age. My father had hairdressing shops and I hated hairdressing, but I still helped out in the shop. I used to also do the payroll and various other bits and pieces for him. So I've pretty much been working all the way from leaving school. Now, my first job, um, because I didn't want to stay on and go to uni and all the rest of it, I worked for a bank called NatWest in London um, for the foreign exchange, and as a junior, basically, so I was just a runner, and that was on the grand salary of 100 pounds a week, that's about $150, doing all the awful jobs, getting the lunches, changing the roles in the telex machines, as it was at the time. Um, I basically built my way up, worked for some various companies, made a lot of money, thought I knew everything, and lost it all in the 1980s. 87 crash. Um, so then started again basically from zero. Um, I started various, well, I started various little jobs, sort of commission only just to tie me over. And I started a little business basically in car phones as they were at the time. If you remember the old big bricks and um, cellular phones in America, I built up a business there from scratch and sold that in 1990. And then from there, moved on to basically where we are today. Okay, so tell us about the book, Vince. What, why did you write the book? Okay, I wrote the book because I just wanted to pass something back. It certainly isn't to make money, Dominic, because you don't make a lot of money out of a book, and I've already had the success as well. It was for people that maybe um, work for somebody else or have been a bit down on their luck or they're just fed up of the normal commute, the nine to five, because the subtitle, you know, the book is The Millionaire Dropout, and the subtitle is basically, um, you know, fire your boss, basically do what you love, because I think most people aren't doing what they love and reclaim your life. And it's a way of starting to think differently about the way you're paid. You know, most people make their money by the hour um, or they have to turn up in their job and work so many hours. Whereas my thinking is, what about if you had a product, a book, a DVD or whatever, which you made X amount of money from, which now we know with the internet, things like Amazon, um, things like eBay, you know, you can sell these products and stand on the shoulder of giants. So really, you know, anybody now can publish their own book or have their own product or have their own TV channel with YouTube. Um, so that's basically what the book is about. Okay, now it falls into t kind of three sections, if, if you like, um, and I'd like to talk about the first section, which very much focuses on, on your psychology, on, on, on taking control of, of your life again, and you talk about um, decision-making and, and, and systems of yeah. decision-making. You talk about almost reprogramming your mind to, in, into a kind Absolutely. of you've, focusing on targets and focusing on positive. So why don't we discuss the kind of the psychological aspect yeah, of reclaiming Yeah, it's interesting, you know, like in trading or in business, people just want to know how do I set up a business or how do I make money trading but the truth is Dominic a lot of this all comes down to psychology and if you're not in the right mindset uh, I can give you all the tools and all the tips you want but you've got to be in that right mindset and people people are not stupid you know they see if you're trying to fake it or if you're not in the right um, frame of mind so the first section as you say is really getting your sort of head almost in order um, and that's what you know the section that I go through beliefs or limiting beliefs what's happened in the past because you know look my life hasn't been all straight up you know people say oh you're an overnight success well yeah I'm a 25 year overnight success um, you know and people just want to focus on certain bits but of course 
there's plenty of ups and downs. And the first section really is dealing with those ups and downs and success. Okay. Well, one of the things that, that uh, stuck in my mind was the idea of the success file. Yeah. Uh, why, don't, why don't you tell us what that is? Okay, well, the success file basically is, you know, we're all going to get times when we're going to get dragged down. Things are going to happen to us, you know, family members or whatever are going to pass away, or you can have breakups or arguments with girlfriends, wives, whatever. And the success file basically is a shoebox or whatever you want to do it, where you put things that have basically helped you in the past or things that you've been successful. And I don't care whatever, you, whether you've passed a, a driving test, you're swimming uh, 100 lengths or whatever. You know, you put successful, things that are positive in there. Because I've seen sometimes, you know, when people are down, they basically put on sad music, which is the last thing that okay. you, you, know, you want so to do. It's, so it's a way of re-triggering the, the positive, yeah, positive so sentiment. Exactly. Very good. Now, moving on to the second section of the book, which is, which is the, the section actually about making Making money. Well, why don't you? The, the main theme there that I got was was sacking your bosses and uh, you know setting up your own business. And you were particularly keen on the idea of mail order. Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm not saying to anybody watching this go and quit your daytime job straight away. The beauty of the businesses that I talk about in the book is that you can do them on the side. So go off and do your nine to five, nine to six job. You know, take a couple of hours out, eat, do whatever, and then in the evenings you can start building up a business. And the reason why I like the mail order business, um, and you know, more and more now mail order is via the internet. It's something that you can set up, and you don't need to be there. So say, for instance, you write a book or produce a DVD how-to book or DVD or even if you're selling a product these are things that you can do in the evening or at the weekends and most of this can now be automated um, so let's say for instance there's a certain market that you find in dog collars let's say for and you buy these dog collars wholesale at five pounds and you sell them on eBay for eight nine pounds well that can all be automated and it can all be done while you're still doing your daytime job so that's the, why I like that business. Can I just say, I say this as someone who's part Italian. Yeah. You are a typical Italian in that all Italians that I've ever known have always done about, you know, they've had one job and they've done a couple of things on, on the, the side, side and they end yeah. up doing about three or four different yeah. things. I, I guess it's where the, 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 of course, it's where the Renaissance man originally yeah. came from. Um, the final section of the book, um, is is managing your money once you've made it and saving money. And I think that's going back to the Italian thing as well. Nobody pays full sticker price. You know, you must be mad. So what we're talking about there, things, hints and tips that I've learned along the way. Because people say, oh, you're rich, you don't need to ask for a discount. Well, the reason I'm rich is because I asked for a discount. Don't be afraid to ask. You know, there's a lot of people that are so scared to ask. What's the worst that's going to happen? They say no. And if you, I'm not talking about being rude, but I'm talking about asking nicely. And what I do in that section, I talk about how you can fly first class or business class at very reduced rates, how you can get designer dresses or suits at very low prices, um, how to get discounts on insurance, cars, credit cards, all how sorts. To travel first class. How to travel first class for less. So the bottom line is, you know, how to make your money go further. Because I've seen people that earn a lot of money, but they also spend a lot of money as well. And then I've seen people who earn less and have a really good lifestyle because they're clever at, you know, making that money go further. Okay, very good. So one more time, Vince. The book is called. Tell us when is the book out? Who okay. publishes it? How can we the buy it? The book is published by Wiley. It's out now. It's called The Dropout Millionaire. You can get it from Amazon or any of the uh, local bookshops. And uh, as I say, it's available now worldwide. Very good. Well, Vince Stancioni, thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Once again, the book is called The Millionaire Dropout, and you should buy it now.